guys, Link264 and welcome to The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Master Quest. The updated, remastered, call it if you will, Quest 2 of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I've not actually completed Master Quest. I've only completed the Deku Tree, so this is going to be a semi-blind run. But, as far as I know, the only difference are the dungeons. So, things like heart pieces, gold sculptors, normal items in the game, are largely unaffected to my knowledge. So without further ado, let's jump back into the world of Hyrule. Of course I'm going to have to input my name exactly the same as it was for my original Ocarina of Time playthrough. So without further ado, let's do it. In the vast, deep forest of Hyrule. Long have I served as the guardian spirit I am known as the Deku Tree. The children of the forest, the Kokiri, live here with me. Each Kokiri has his or her own guardian fairy. However, there is one boy who does not have a fairy. Navi, Navi, where art thou? Come hither. O oh, Navi the fairy, listen to my words, the words of the Deku Tree. Dost thou sense it, the climate of evil descending upon this realm? Malevolent forces even now are mustering to attack our land of Hyrule. For so long the Kokiri Forest, the source of life, has stood as a barrier deterring outsiders and maintaining the order of the world. But before this tremendous evil power, even my power is as nothing. It seems the time has come for the boy without a fairy to begin his journey. The youth whose destiny it is to lead Hyrule to the path of justice and truth. Navi, go now. Find our young friend and guide him to me. I do not have much time left. Fly, Navi, fly. The fate of the forest, nay, the world depends upon thee. So, with this sort of being my second playthrough of the game, the only thing that's pretty much changed is the dungeons, so yeah, since I'm going to call this my second playthrough of Ocarina of Time, only... I'm only going to be um, reading the speech of certain things, cutscenes and things like that, I will be reading the speech of, but most of the things I'm going to skip over. So instead of reading every little bit of speech that comes out of people, I'm not going to be doing that in this playthrough. So it should be a bit of a quicker playthrough to be honest. But I am so excited to do this. Hello, Hello Link Chu, wake up! The great Deku Tree wants to talk to you. Glitch Chu, get up! Hey, come on! Can Hyrule's destiny really depend on such a lazy boy? You finally woke up! I'm Navi the Fairy. The Great Deku Tree asked me to be your partner from now on. Nice to meet you! 
great Deku tree once summoned you. Was oh, was. So let's get going right now. Okay. So while we do the usual grind of um, collecting our forty rupees, <coughs> eighty rupees, um, I'm going to be discussing a few things. Seeing as though I have already recorded this, and well. It didn't really turn out okay, which is why I'm recording it again. I actually did quite a fucking lot as well. I only did four episodes, half an hour long each. So there you go, there's your time frame already. Half an hour long episodes. Um, but I honestly did get pretty far. I checked between my original Ocarina of Time playthrough as to how far I'd actually got. And if it were any quicker, oh my god, it were a lot quicker. I don't know what the hell I were doing in my original playthrough. It may be because I was still sort of new. I were only coming up on my one year anniversary and it were only my ninth let's play. So I'm going to assume I was just... I don't know. And plus, obviously, I, like I say, I was... Uh... Why ain't my elbow working? My elbow didn't work it. My R button's working. My L button ain't working. That could be a problem. That could be a very big problem, in fact. Huh. Well, as I'm getting this, I'll unplug my controller. And see if that's the problem. Unplug. And plug back in. Uh, we got the cookies. Uh, I can't skip this, can I? So yeah, a few things I want to discuss, apart from the fact that this is my second recording of this. Um, ah, there you go, L button's working perfectly. Well, let's equip our sword. Yes, our sword. Um, so yeah, I originally tried recording this on Monday, which would have been the 21st of January. It sort of makes sense to do it today, which is the 25th of January. The 25th of January is the anniversary of my first episode of Ocarina of Time being uploaded. So it's sort of fitting, but it don't make a difference to you. I was I was pondering the fact of whether to upload this on the 25th. But having one episode on the 25th and then starting again one episode every day, you know what I'm like. That would have made things uneven and no, that would have made things like, you know, Friday, to, uh, Monday to Friday it would have been parts 2 to 6. I'd much, much prefer it just to be 1 to 5. You know what I'm like with this sort of stuff and yeah, it gets a bit bad but, ah oh well. So, that wasn't actually one of the things that I was going to talk about, but as soon as I've mentioned it now, I thought, well, I might as well have done. So, I'm going to try and record the same four episodes tonight. Seems like it's Friday, and this is next week's Let's Play. Or, for you now, this week's Let's Play. Hello! I hope you enjoyed uh, Metroid, Zero Mission, and New Super Mario Bros. U. Because they are both now finished. And unless I can think of something else to do at the same time as this, this is all you're getting out of me this week. But I'm sure you'll know that by now more than I do. So, yeah. You motherfucker. So, what we're actually going to do now is get another 40 rupees. Because I haven't pondered whether I'm going to get... Why am I using that word so much in this fucking episode? I haven't said the word ponder for years. But yeah. I'm... Uh, I'm still debating whether or not to get... 100% on this. I can't say why I shouldn't do. But... Yeah. I haven't sort of figured that out yet. I see no reason not to. But then... Well, I suppose why not? So, yeah. A few
few things I want to discuss. In the original recording, I said that I was going to do... Uh, obviously last year I only did Ocarina of Time. And as most of you well know, The Legend of Zelda is one of my most loved series of all time. So, in the original recording, I said that I would love to do more than one Zelda LP this year. This was before the Nintendo Direct Wii U announcements. Where a certain game was announced as it was getting a HD remake. To be quite honest, it was one of the games that I was pondering. Oh, I've said it again. It's one of the games that I was. I had in my head as doing this year. Now I know for definite, and I don't do this often, but you also are going to know now what my next Zelda LP is going to be after this. That is, of course if this recording comes out and you actually hear this. Nevertheless, I'll say it. Sometime this year, because we don't actually have a release date yet, I'll tell you more at E3. Sometime this year, fall, autumn, we are going to be let's playing The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. If you haven't seen the actual trailer for it, well, not trailer, but if you haven't seen like the screenshots for it, I highly suggest that you go and watch that Nintendo Direct, um, and you will you will understand why. The Wind Waker isn't one of my most favourite uh, Zelda games, but it's definitely up there. I like it better than Skyward Sword. I think it goes Ocarina of Time, Twilight Princess, Oracle of Ages, an Oracle of Seasons, um, then possibly Wind Waker. Oh, Navi, that has returned. Linkachu, welcome. Listen carefully to what I, the Deku Tree, am about to tell thee. Thy slumber these past moons must have been restless and full of nightmares. As a result, the servants of evil gain strength, a vile climate pervades of the land and causes nightmares to those sensitive to it. Verily, thou hast felt it. Linkachu, the time has come to test thy courage. I have been cursed. I need you to break the curse with your wisdom and courage. Dost thou have courage enough to undertake this task? Yes. Then enter, brave Linkachu, and thou too, Navi. Navi the fairy, thou must aid Linkachu. And Linkachu, when Navi speaks, use something to listen well to her words of wisdom. No, I think I'll pass on that great Deku tree if I'm okay with that. So, by the way, we've got our uh, first Deku stick upgrade, but I'm sure you pretty much know that by now. Um, Where was I? Yes, the Wind Waker HD inside the Deku tree. I'm a poet and I didn't know it. Yes. Now I'm going to stop talking about what I was going to say for now and get back to this Master Quest The Deku Tree. Now that bat wasn't there before. That skull tiller wasn't there on those vines before. This torch wasn't here before and this egg was definitely not here before. All I can hear is a skull tiller. That's not good. And obviously, this uh, Goma lava. Is it Goma lava? Goma lava wasn't here before. You get down there. That's fine with me. Alright, I hear a skull tiller. Oh, what? What? I didn't mean to do that, but fair enough. Then, 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 Right. Let's kill this gold skull tiller just because we can like that. And that's our first gold skull tiller of the game. Now, 
If you remember before, we went along this little part before and didn't come up here because there were sculptors on this wall and we needed the slingshot. And we got the slingshot in the uh, room that we were... Well, that we... It's not accessible to us at the moment. So... You know what I'm going to do, actually? Just because I think it'll make it easier for me. Oh no, that gives me sticks, doesn't it? Oh yeah, balls. Um... I may actually use, well I say I may, I am going to, I'm going to use Deku Nuts in this playthrough, yes. I'm going to use Deku Nuts in this playthrough, um, mainly because it is harder than Ocarina of Time, otherwise there would pretty much be no point to it. Um, and, oh god, Navi! And I think I may need them at some points. Um, I nearly died in the Deku tree on my first recording. I know that's something I could have kept myself, kept to myself even. But I don't want to lie to you. I nearly died, and it wasn't a good experience. Oh, I need to change that as well, daughter. I need to change the um I need to change the um the the Z targeting. It locks on at the moment. I don't want it to lock on, I want it to um to hold to lock. Oh god. Getting used to this again. But really there we go. Drop me a heart. No, they barely drop anything in this game. Um, what was I saying? I have no idea. Anywho. Let us go over here. And kill that because that was the final enemy. And that opens the door. And also, grants us a nice chest. And inside this chest, we have... Opening the fucking chest, we get the slingshot. Yes, we get the slingshot, motherfucking bitches. Um, I can't honestly remember what I was going to say. Or I can't remember what I was saying. Um, this is going to be a blind run apart from the Deku Tree and anything else in the dungeon, judging by what happened after this dungeon with the uh, world exploration and stuff. Do I really need to get this? For completeness I'll get it, yeah. Because you know what I'm like. Especially just like with a game like this, prolonging everything is a good thing. Ah, oh, we get some seeds! Seeds! You know, we haven't used any seeds yet, but you know. So our first use of a Deku Nut, in both games I think, was pretty much a fail. Why am I taking this with me? Why am I taking- I don't need that with me. What I will, however, do is break this. Oh, I did it! Beautiful. That's what I wanted to do. Because I don't want to go straight down yet. What I do want to do is kill that. What? Do you see that? Hacks. I'm calling hacks. I want to get back up here. Don't need to come back up here, but I want to. And like I say, this will be a quicker LP than um, than the original Ocarina of Time playthrough was. Simply for the fact of, um, <coughs> well, I don't know, I don't have to be a slow. What are you doing? Don't care if you'd have given me nuts if I'd have done it properly, but... 
There we go. Open the eye, or shoot the eye even. Oh, way too high. Kill that thing. I'm gonna jump over with this this time. Ah, you see? You can't. Saying that, I could have probably jump attacked that. Ah, oh, well. Let's kill him from behind. And open our chest. It's the last big chest of the game. No, it ain't. It's the last big chest of the dungeon. We got the compass! I know that was sort of uh, out of. out of tune, sort of. Not out of tune, but out of time, sync time thing. I don't really care, to be honest. Oh, you motherfucker, I didn't want to hatch it. Oh, what are you doing? Get away from me. So now we have the compass, now we can go down this hole. Now this room is quite deadly on here. And when I say quite deadly, I mean very deadly. Oh my god, really? There we go. Don't need blue rupees, I need hearts. You're not going to give me hearts, are you? See, I'm already down to uh, one heart. And, oh my god, look at the size of that motherfucker. Yeah, we're going to leave that bitch alone for now. And uh, we're going to kill this dude. Ooh, hearts. Ooh, seeds. Ooh, fire. I said ooh, fire. Fire, yes. Uh, we might as well get this now while the uh, room's free. It's pretty pointless, but why not? Five rupees. Five rupees. Is this one alive again, this little one? Oh no, I thought this little one were alive. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here first. I'm actually going to shoot his little... Can I actually shoot him as well? Nope. Because now there's going to be more things here. Just kill him. Just kill him. Ooh, three hearts. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. And is that it? That is it. So now we can go back through this door. Light a stick on fire. And run the hell back. There we go. Yeah, this dungeon did honestly give me some trouble the uh, first time through it. To say that it's still the Deku Tree, it did give me some trouble. I ain't gonna catch that in time now, am I? Motherfucker. Okay, so we're gonna have to stand here until that platform is coming back, because if we step off this, the light will go out, and then we'll have to step back on it and watch that little din and then and then cutscene again, so yeah. Let us go. Hold your shield button. And jump. And there we go. That opens the door. Slash. What are you doing? Get down. Don't need to kill you, but why not? And the only way to kill this guy, I think, is by doing that. And look at this. A song of time block. Hmm. A stone of time. A block of time. I, I have no idea. Now if you actually target these guys, it's easier. You 
see. Look at that. Simples. Look at that. Go on, then I'll just kill you. I'll take out the other ones by myself. So that's really annoying. That you actually get hit while you're going for it. It's actually quite annoying. And there's one lone bat key, sorry. Open the door. And then, sorry if I'm powering through this and I haven't really said a lot because I don't think I have. Uh, get a little bit up. There we go. <coughs> now, I'm not going to bother going... Uh, oh, you know what I will do. Just, just because I can. Oh, I didn't want that. Well, I suppose I'm full on Deku Nuts, why not? This is another one of those timed blocks. Not time. I oh, for God's sake. Not put going in there yet because even though it's not uh, sealed by a vulnerable wall, you're still not point in getting in there yet because they're in. There was actually a vulnerable wall or rocks that we could bomb um, in the room with the slingshot, but I didn't actually get. I didn't show you it. Because I thought there's no point, to be honest. Um, right. Now, we're best probably trying to kill this dude. Oh, no, I don't want to listen. Look at me. I'm in a fighting stance. Navi! Leave me alone. Obviously, this episode is going to be a bit longer than usual because it's the first episode and I like to get a lot done in my first episode. See, look, you made my Deku not run out. No, you don't. Don't even go there. Leave me alone. I don't want to buy your Deku shield. Oh, nearly done. Nearly done. No, oh, well, I've been going nearly 28 minutes. Which isn't a bad little rate of time to say how much we've done. Right, let's do this. No, let's not do that. It's probably best if we kill this dude. Get some nuts for our troubles. Hopefully we can maybe get a heart or something. No, but uh, it's not too bad. And run! Run, Forest, run! Jump! Luckily we do get still hearts here, so... Yeah. And they've also changed the order. And I don't believe there's anywhere in here that actually tells you the order. Uh, I got it right on my first time on my original recording. Which was nice. Oh, did you know our secret? How irritating. It's so annoying that I'm going to reveal the secret to Queen Goma to you. In order to administer the coup de grace to Queen Goma, strike with your sword while she is stunned. Oh, Queenie. Sorry about that. I'm sorry about that accent. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it was even. Right, let's take on Queen Goma. Yeah, I'm not scared. Actually. You know what, Link? Just 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 go back through the door. We'll we'll do this next time, yeah? Oh, oh fuck. Oh shit. Parasitic Armored Arachnid Goma! Watch out! Mm, 
no! Get ready. What are you doing? Hit it! Oh my god, what are you doing? Oh my god! What the hell? What the fucking hell was going on there? When have I not done that? I've never not done that. Will you fucking die? Where the fuck? You now, bitch. Fucking. Oh my god, what the fuck is that going on? What? What It's the game's fault. When is it ever missed? It's never missed. Look, that's what it does. Finish her. call hacks on that but I'm not really happy with that at all that's just spoiled the whole video just to clarify even though it's master quest the bosses are not any more difficult so that Queen Gomer is exactly the same as the Queen Gomer in Ocarina of Time there is no reason that should have happened Well done, Linkajou. Thou hast verily demonstrated thy courage. I knew that thou wouldst be able to carry out my wishes. Now I have yet more to tell ye. Wouldst thou listen? Okay. Now listen carefully. A wicked man of the desert cast this dreadful curse upon me. This evil man ceaselessly uses his vile sorcerous powers in his search for the sacred realm that is con connected to Hyrule. For it is in that sacred realm that one will find the divine relic, the Triforce, which contains the essence of the gods. Before time began, before spirits and life existed, three golden goddesses descended upon the chaos that was Hyrule. Din, the goddess of power. Nehru, the goddess of wisdom. Faroa, the goddess of courage. Din. With her strong flaming arms, she cultivated the land and created the Red Earth. Why has my voice changed? Nehru. Poured her wisdom onto the earth and gave the spirit of law to the land and the world even. Motherfucker. Faraw. With a rich soul, produced all life forms who would uphold the law. The three great goddesses, their labors completed, departed for the heavens. And golden sacred triangles remained at the point where the goddesses left the world. Since then, the sacred triangles have become the basis of our world's providence, and the resting place of the triangles has become the sacred realm. Ooh, shiny. Thou must never allow the desert man in black armor to lay his hands on the sacred Triforce. 
Thou must never suffer that man with his evil heart to enter the sacred realm of legend. That evil man who cast the death curse upon me and sapped my power. Because of that curse, my end is nigh. Though your valiant efforts to break the curse were successful, I was doomed before you started. Yes, I will pass away soon, but do not grieve for me. I have been able to tell you of these important matters. This is Hyrule's final hope. Linkachu, go now to Hyrule Castle. There thou wilt surely meet the Princess of Destiny. Take this stone with you, the stone that man wanted so much that he cast the curse on me. You got the Kokiris Emerald! This is Spiritual Stone of the Forest, now entrusted to you by the Great Deku Tree. The future depends upon thee, Linkachu. Thou art courageous. Navi the Fairy, help Linkachu to carry out my will. I entreat ye, Navi. Goodbye. Heavy, dude. Heavy. Let's go to Hyrule Castle, Linkachu. Goodbye, Great Deku Tree. Well, uh, but, but what? Hey, Linkachu, what did you do? The Great Deku Tree, did he die? How could you do such things like that? It's not your fault. <laughs> yeah, piss off, my door. Nobody likes you, man. What is up with you, man? Nobody fucking likes you. Go smoke a joint and be happy, man. Fuck. Okay, so we're coming up on time for this first episode. First things first. I suppose I can do that. That could be my last little thing, I suppose. No. What should I do? What should I do, children? Mm, yeah, I'll do that, why not? So, the last thing we're going to do in this episode is use three of our Deku Seeds. Hopefully just three. Maybe four. Yeah, probably three. Uh, five. Cool, you're great. You scored three perfect bullseyes. <laughs> I have to give you a neat present for such a wonderful person. Please take it. Why do all my accents sort of start to turn out Russian? I was watching DSP friggin GTA 4 playthrough. But Nico's not even Russian, I don't think. Anyway, I'll see you next time, guys. Take care.